school students building a robot that could change a little girl's life. Courtney Garris joins us with more on this learning experience that goes way beyond the classroom. Courtney. Carol, we first introduced you to baby Vivian last year when the I-Team helped her get a life-saving piece of medical equipment denied by insurance. Doctors doubted this little girl from Menominee Falls would even live. Vivian just turned two and is now trying to walk with help from some very creative high school students. That's the way, yeah. <laughs> Precise steering. Avoiding obstacles. This is one of the first times we're using these kinds of sensors. All important components of a robot. We have to make it work perfectly. These St. Francis High School students are using technology and their desire to learn to build a very special robot. Good job, Moore. For this little girl. Where are you going? Vivian Johnson is two. And on the go, in spite of doctors' predictions of a life confined to a bed. She just started climbing, like dangerous climbing. She is also learning to walk. Yeah. An amazing milestone that comes with a big problem. Her machines don't really move with her unless we're carrying 50 pounds of equipment and following her around everywhere. Life-saving machines Vivian is always attached to, so mom Sarah started researching options. They said that there aren't really kids like Vivian who walk. The only solution Sarah could find, a wheelchair, something Vivian doesn't need. We're looking at 75 inches. Then she ran across young minds willing to help. This is a her ventilator that would need to be on there. The Johnson family first met the St. Francis Robotics team a few weeks ago. Together, they started brainstorming ideas. We're going to build it so either it autonomously follows her, like senses where she okay. is. Far beyond what this family hoped for. They're making an app so her monitors will get sent to our phone. It's just incredible. Doing incredible things is not new for this team of teenagers. I started off as a research of how do I do something in the classroom. Lead mentor and science teacher Peter Graven was experimenting with 3D printers. That led to the creation of these mechanical hands for children with physical disabilities, now used by more than a dozen kids across the world. And the creation of 180, the concept of helping others by turning can't into can. We want to push what we're doing as a robotics team, as a robotics program. Uh, here's a child in need. How can we use what we know? And also learn along the way about robotics. Angle this and then we could put like anything else under it. I'll hold this up. And life. It's a challenge, but it's awesome. And when it comes together, like I'm going to be so excited to like see it work. An invention that will help this determined little girl be like every other two year old. This is one step closer to letting her be whatever she wants to be. So the robot will first help Vivian navigate the surfaces in her home. The ultimate goal is to get her walking longer distances. The Johnsons can't wait to take it to the zoo. Wow, that's incredible. Now, wh wh who's paying for all of this or the funding for this court? It's kind of part of the learning experience. There's no expense to the family. Uh, the students network, and so they're fundraising. They're bringing in experts to advise on the project. They're also getting guidance from MSOE student mentors. And if you want to follow the progress of Vivian's robot and the SF Robotic Team's other 180 projects, you can go to TMJ4.com. And, of course, we're going to follow along and see the end result. My uh, faith Great. is restored in the next yes. generation. <laughs> Remarkable. Yes. Thank you, Courtney. <laughs>